Then my second question for you is, I believe a month ago you posted your 100th article on LinkedIn. Congratulations, and I follow them uh, and you give very great tips. So in that sense, how did LinkedIn become this great social platform for people sharing and for people finding jobs, especially for job seekers? How can they use LinkedIn to find their jobs? I'm not an expert on that, but I'll tell you my experience is uh, I think we live in a world that is changing so quickly. And, and I've written a lot of books. And what happens with a book in my head is it takes me about six to tw nine months to get the ideas, six to nine months to write it, and then six to nine months to get it published. That's two years. And by the way, two years, the idea is already gone. Yeah. Now, sometimes there are big ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, leadership Capital Index, Market-Oriented Ecosystem. These are fundamentally uh, groundbreaking ideas. Those are the two most recent books. They deserve the time because they're going to have a long life. But I think a lot of times the shelf life today of an idea is getting shorter. I have found LinkedIn is a great platform because you can put an idea together and up within 24 or 48 hours. And then you begin to build a brand. And so my advice to those seeking a job is to use LinkedIn to create your brand. What is it I want to be known for? And can I do post on LinkedIn in a regular way that help me recognize the, and help me be recognized for the brand I'm trying to build? I'm trying to build a brand of thought leadership, ideas with action. So I want ideas that have impact yes. and have an impact. I hope when people read my posts or my articles or my comments, they begin to get a sense of that brand. And LinkedIn becomes a platform for establishing and creating your personal brand. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And especially your posts are very current, very recent, what's happening. And you also shared that you started to post a tip of the day. Can you share that again, please? You bet. I've decided in this coronavirus pandemic, the world is changing so quickly that I can't keep up. So last weekend, this is how quick it is. I woke up Saturday morning and I said, oh, I don't want to be arrogant and I don't want to be presumptuous. And I see a lot of people posting a lot of things. I think the research has said, and my experience, because I'm older than, I'm probably older by double than you, Meher. <laughs> I think there are things we know about navigating and finding opportunity in a crisis. So I sat down Saturday and said, what do we know from the crisis research? Our daughter is a sociologist studying crisis. We ask her, we ask others. Can I put those into a 60 second video clip? Quick post on LinkedIn with some advice. I came up with 10, I drafted a script. Uh, I'm gonna be really honest, I'll be transparent. I think that's part of the world. Saturday night, I did a Zoom call and I taped 10 one minute videos. Mm -hmm. Sunday, my technology person sent me the first one. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. I didn't look good. I kept looking at my notes. I was not positive. And so this morning, my technology per I called and I said, I can't post that. It's not good. Come to my house, social distancing. Yes. Let's start over. And so this morning, I did 10 videos again. They're going to start getting posted today. Why do I go through that? Not because I have any unique insight, but there is research, not just seat of the pants ideas about what we can do to respond in this time that we should get out as quickly as possible. We're now going to do that. I'm going to post a tip a day mm -hmm. with a staff. I'm not going to do the posting, but I've written in a video to tip a day starting today for Monday through Friday for the next 10 days. Yeah. Very short 60 second clip, which is hard to do and uh, hopefully useful for those who might listen in. I'm looking forward for that starting today. And I believe, as you've mentioned, there's a lot of research, a lot of talk this day, and we need thought leaders like yourself to kind of put it in words and put it out there so that people can share. And as you mentioned, for job seeker, it's becoming like personal brand. You are selling yourself, what your ideas, what your thoughts are, and that's what uh, employees are looking for. Thank you for that, Dave. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of job seekers using LinkedIn, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Dave.